welcome to today's upload. My name is Emma Stick Around for hauls and vlogs and chats, and we are back with another kind of organised me video. I am up. I call it top top. It's like my office. Um, some of you have called it a clothis, so it's a closet and an office. It's just the loft that's been converted into a bit of an office, and then there is where we keep all our bits and bobs. We've also got a cupboard full of Christmas decorations. So this is kind of where I do my work, my editing, and it's where we keep all sorts of things. So today I am going to be organising it a little bit. I did put away a lot of stuff, um, and now I'm going to be organising different areas. We are going to be organising my wrapping paper. We're going to be organising those drawers there which hold all our stationery. We're going to be organising all my mini ears. I've bought special stuff to organise that. Um, it's looking kind of tidy in here at the moment. The only thing we do have is we've got a big, whoops, a big giant box there. Two giant boxes because we are actually redoing um, my little boy's room. And we're going to be doing a few rooms during 2023, 2022. Things kind of got put on the back burner because of stuff going on with families, but everything's a bit more settled now. So we're going to be decorate, redecorating my boy's bedroom. And he's having like... It, like complete change like complete change because if you remember rightly he's got like a disney bedroom and it's going to be a completely different thing so redoing his bedroom then we're going to redo my girl's bedroom which isn't going to be too drastic but she's going to get a double bed we're going to change up some of the pictures in the frames and just make it a bit more um 12 year old like i want to get some pot carpet put on those these stairs because these stairs here are absolutely perilous, they're so shiny. Uh, and talking about getting a shed. We were, I think I mentioned on here, we were looking at an extension. And that was going to be the plan. But we got the quote and it is quite a lot of money. And it's just not something we feel comfortable spending at this time. We might do it next year or I don't know. But the bedrooms, also both bathrooms are going to be done. We're going to take the upstairs bathroom downstairs and the downstairs bathroom upstairs. It's going to be a whole thing. So I can't wait to show you all that. But in the meantime, something to tickle your pickle, let's tidy up my office. And the first job I'm going to do, uh, which I, I shan't film because it'd be very boring, but my mother, this is my old address book, got me a new address book for, for Christmas. So I'm going to um, fill this up. My old dress book is so old, it has got people in it that sadly are no longer with us and have been gone for quite a long time. So we definitely need a little bit of an update, um, just get some, you know, people have moved houses and it's got all, you know, pages have just been crossed through because the old addresses and my friend Sarah was like, um, just to let you know, uh, we moved like three years ago and the old neighbour said you sent something here. I was like, oh, so I definitely need to get that sorted. So I'm going to get that sorted and then I'm going to come back to you with the rest. The first thing that I organised, oh, this wrapping paper box, if you watched my What I Got For Christmas, this was one of my presents from Stephen, can we remember, he was like, we don't, um, I don't want that in my house, and then he bought it me for Christmas, so I was very excited, it is just a big plastic box, I think he got it from home base, but I reckon there's, you can get them anywhere, and it's got all my wrapping paper. In. So I've put Christmas wrapping paper in at the bottom and then I've got uh, wrapping paper for birthday presents for um, You know kids parties and stuff or friends. I like to have different ones. I've got them in the sale These are actually from the sale last year from Smith's just for little uh, Birthday parties and presents and like that would be a nice one for like my friends and stuff for birthday gifts and then at the bottom is Christmas stuff. I am due another couple of Christmas um, wrapping paper that I ordered from Next. And I will show you that in a haul when it eventually comes. It said it was going to come in three weeks. Um, so I have kept my original Amazon roll rolling paper. <laughs> paper roll storage thingy me bob. So I've got two, but this will be the main one and then this will keep the Christmas wrapping paper and so I can store this in the Christmas cupboard. But I absolutely love it. I love the fact it's see-through and I can see through it. These two boxes here are my boy's bed. He is having a whole new 
bam 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 a whole new bedroom um this this is holds his bed so i can't wait to do a whole video on that uh, in a few weeks we're going to paint it we're going to put a new bed up it's going to have all new decorations so oh it's going to be really great i'm mainly getting new carpet i'm not sure about that i'm gonna um i'm gonna need to move the bed really see what the carpet's like underneath so that is amazing everybody get one it's gonna change your life if you think that makes me a geek fine but if you think you would love it too we are best friends Yay! It fits in perfectly here and also I did get a couple of requests on my Insta stories to talk about memory boxes so just quickly um, we've chatted about them on here before. Each kid has a memory box and the memory box usually lasts about three years, two to three years. As they get older the amount of stuff they want to put in them is less. I just need to add 2023 on that as well. And in the boxes go um, certificates, any cards they want to keep. The odd kind of bit of nice art. I can see that Ethan's got a lanyard from a football match that he went to with his dad. Erin has got um, an, a stitch denim jacket, which she would like to keep that she's far too big for now. But it's just nice. And then, look, will the kids want this when they're older? Unsure. But they'll have about five boxes each with all nice memories in and it's nice to look look through. So this all... This fits in perfect in the, in the little loft storage part of my office. Also, not sure if I showed you, but I got a couple of new lounge fire bags. Maybe I did show you. This was um, for my birthday and the Tiki Room one was for my wedding anniversary. So I've got four now. And I was wondering if you have any ideas of how I can hang them or display them. Are they okay there? Let me know what you think. Uh, they're just kind of living there at the moment. This is a rail I have. Um, because I like to, when I go on holiday, hang all my stuff up. <laughs> we have to embrace this is messy, but it, I promise you, we went through it last year and everything in there is, we, we, you know, we need at some point. So let's get on to the next super fun, super exciting bit of organisation. Oh, I can't wait for this one, guys. Can't wait. This is how I store our mini ears. Um, and as you can see it's got a bit out of control so I'm going to go through them all and I've bought another couple of um, can you see, I'll show you when I get them out like magazine racks so I can have another one at the bottom and I'm going to be very strict and any that are looking a bit tatty um, are going to go if I can donate some I will but some of the old ones now, like the bit, they're falling apart really. Actually, if there's any that's like super, super, I think sentimental, they'll go in the memory boxes, but I'm gonna go through these now and make it look a lot neater. It was actually my friend Beth, um, Bethany Francesca on Instagram, um, who does loads of plus size fashion, who first suggested these. So they're just magazine or newspaper files, I think that's what you call them. And then you can slot the ears in. So that is the plan. And I'd quite like them to be in like Christmas ears, Halloween ears, pink ears, bunny ears. So that is the plan. But yeah, we've got quite quite a lot. Look, with all due respect, there's a lot of doubles because I wear ears with my daughter, don't I? So there's quite a lot of doubles. And then at the bottom, there's some um, hats and stuff that belong to my little boy. So I'm going to try and sort it all out. And I think the hats... And that lot will be stored um, in another box I've got at the back. So let's do this. You know when something happens and you feel like it's fate. <laughs> How perfect do they fit? I was ha I had one, but now I can have two side by side. Oh, why is this? This is exciting me more than is rational for a woman of 45. But this, this is good news. Also, guys... I think I've shared this on my Instagram before. This is my very first pair of ears, four euros 50. Could you imagine buying four euros 50 ears now? Uh, when I tell you, these hurt horrifically. Look at the spike, can you see the spikes? They're all there. So these are my first pair of ears when Stephen and I went, when Stephen was, I feel like Steve would have been 20 years ago. No, can't have been 20, 19 years ago maybe. Um, so yeah, I will never be wearing these again, but I'm keeping them for the mems. Vintage Disneyland Paris, or as they call it, uh, Euro Disney ears. Lovely. Hooray! 
so we've got Christmas and kind of black fluffy ears. This is all Halloween. We've got black ears and cruise ones and then we've got kind of pink going through to like um, blue and rose gold. At the bottom I got a Disneyland Paris bag and it's got the kids, uh, it's got hats in, not the kids, but the, not the kids pins, I put that in something else. It's got hats in, it's got Ethan's goofy hat and at the back I've got um, a little Disney handbag and that's got all their pins in. Oh no, I'm lying, it's here. <laughs> at the back it's here, I've put, got this old Primark Disney bag and that's got all the kids pins, pins in. When we go on holiday to pin trading. Uh, so I will put that in here as well so we know where it is. I'm really pleased. I will say with these, just be careful that you're uh, not squidging the bows. <laughs> be careful you're not squidging the bows. Somebody put that on a t-shirt. Because I do worry a little bit that if they're in here, because we're not going to go to Disney for a while. Um, so I do worry a little bit that they might get a bit squidged. But so I'm trying to work out how many ears it is per one two three four five six seven eight nine i think it's nine nine ears per um rack nine or ten ears per rack and you get two in a packet for about 20 pound i think so it's just a nice little way and this is this is like home based style and i kind of wish it was pink but it's not but we're gonna live with it i could spray paint it i suppose and you can get these on amazon uh, this was from home base. You can also get them in Ikea. We've had those before, but uh, yeah, perfect You can wheel it around and I'm just gonna wheel it into the corner My plan now is just to have a quick go through all these drawers make sure everything is looking neat and tidy I did pick up some drawer Organizers um, These are from Mini so and as I said, I will definitely go and do a video um, I didn't realise there was one in Birmingham as well, so I'll definitely go and do a video of the one in, um, I think it's um, maybe the old Palisades. So I want to use that. Have I got any, any, do I buy any others? Oh, my girl was cleaning out her drawers, so I've got a couple here as well. A couple of little storage boxes. These were Dollar Tree from when we went, but she didn't want them anymore. I think most of the drawers are fine. I'm just going to go through, make sure everything's nice and neat and tidy and then I will show you. This is the drawer that's the main problem that has all cards and stuff in and um, envelopes. So I want to make sure that this one is really nice and tidy and the rest I'm just going to do a general tidy up because this is my office. I want it to be nice uh, and this one. Let's ship that. <laughs> I'm going to go through that one as well. So I will come back and show you progress. I'm, I've got high hopes for these guys. High hopes. Okay, here we go. We've just got um, electrical bits at the top. Pens and pencils. This, I love having this for the kids. Because if they need a pen or they want to like replenish their pencil case for school, they can just come up. And I've pretty much got everything. That you could possibly need this is the one that i wanted to sort out we've got cards we've got envelopes we've got stickers just in case you know i want to send a card to a friend i also have my um pack with all the birthday cards in which i do really need to replenish maybe i might put that in another video but these are just more like thank you cards or just like little cute cards to put in the post here's just glues pins again um, it's good to have glue sticks in the house if you are a mother because those little people are always wanting to glue projects. This drawer broke, let's ignore it. And then here is pads, poly pockets, and that's it. But the next little thing I'm going to do is a bit of a, um, I don't know, it, or what I would call it. Electrical bits, maybe? I don't know. First of all, I'm going to change my phone cover. The cover I had on for the whole of Christmas was this Ace Red Cup Starbucks one. This was from Love Cases. I bought this, I bought some Halloween ones as well. And then they sent me a Christmas card with a voucher in and I was like, yes please. So these are kind of gifted with this voucher, but I love Love Cases. They have really good Disney phone cases and all sorts of things. So I'll show you the ones I've got and I need to make a decision what my new phone case will be for 2023. What is my vibe? 
I said vibe and I sounded like a very old lady. Hmm. I don't know which one I want. I can keep this when we go to our next Disney trip, which isn't for ages, but I'll still have the same phone. How about that? What do we think? It kind of matches both, doesn't it? Because you've got like the Mickey, I mean the mini polka dots. I'm sure you'll all be shouting this one. Ah! Because I've only got one of these, so I need to make a good, a wise choice. Let me see what it looks like on the phone. Okay, I'm sure you were all worried about which one I'm going to choose. You may all say this one, but I'm going to have this one, and I think this one will be a really nice, like, Easter, maybe, valentines -y kind of spring-like one. So I'm going to go for the polka dots. And if I've made a wrong decision, I'm sorry. Just back off. Back off. It's my phone, okay? Okay, so this is a very... Uh, I don't know if any of you will do anything like this. But every kind of year or so, I need to buy myself a new... Um, what would you call it? Portable drive. I have... I think I've got three over there. This is my fourth one. Because I've been blogging now for nine years and... I like to get a new one every couple of years, so then this goes into storage, and this has got every vlog that I've done for the second half of 2021 and all of 2022 on, all my videos, footage, photos I want, Disney stuff I want to keep, anything important, so I like to keep it in case, I don't know why anything would go wrong, but you never know, so I have bought myself a new one, which I'm going to label, and a new case, and this will be my 2022 Probably, maybe, a bit of 2023 one. So that is a bit of a an admin job that I like to do in the new year. Also, I get myself an SD card. So the card that I'm filming this on will then go in this. <laughs> Bet you like Emma. This is a bit boring admin. But you know what? Maybe you're interested. Who knows? I have this little holder here, let me open it. So this has old SD cards in, again, um, they can be used as spares, but it's just like to keep them forever. So I will, once I've finished this video and I've edited it, I will put this SD card in there and then I will get myself a new SD card. And it's just one of those new little, new year little things I like to do. But 2021, 2020, um, I haven't dated the other ones. I obviously decided in 2020 to start being a bit more um, official. So, yeah. There we go. I use my little um, label maker. So, I'm going to stick that on here. And that is going to be my 2022 one. Uh, so I know what is on everything if ever I need to find footage it's quite good because then I can go back and be like oh I would really like to see that footage of when my girl would turn five or whatever and I can find it so I'm going to put this on here now so there we are a little organisation a little come tidy with me a little sorting my life out so thrilled with the wrapping paper box so thrilled with my mini ears um, as I mentioned any suggestion for hanging lounge fly bags also, um, we might um, sell the little couch we've got up here and we might put a bed up here. So, I can't remember if I mentioned that, but that might be another plan. One of the kids' old beds come over here because I'd like to have a bed that was on hand all the time. I, I do apologise. I feel like I might have said this. I, so, we can have it if somebody's poorly or somebody needs to stay or if there's an emergency. You know, I just want a nice bed, all ready-made, but... We'll see. Because this pink, pink couch is great, but I don't think it really gets used, and I think probably somebody else would use it a lot a lot better than us. Right, I love you lots. I'll be back in another few days for a home bargains. Come shop with me and haul. Do they have Valentine's stuff in? Do they have Easter stuff in? You will soon find out. I love you lots. Have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.